when it comes to managing your money. It's gotten tougher, hasn't it? With the price of gas up, the price of groceries up, price of everything, it might make sense to go back to an old style budget. Remember the old days? Historically, this is when mom would take envelopes and she would stuff these bills into the envelope so that they had money available when they needed it. Now there's lots of problems with the envelope system today. First of all, who has envelopes? I mean, <laughs> then second, who carries around all this money? I certainly don't when I'm not making a video. So what do we do instead? Luckily, there's a solution now that takes care of a lot of that. We're gonna walk you through it today. It's called Cube Money. What's neat about Cube Money is that it takes that idea of the envelope and those dollar bills and you chuck the envelope, you don't have to have the dollar bills and instead it works the way that we use money today. Most of us use money electronically, don't we? And because of that, this is a much better solution. You'll see here my Cube Money debit card, very nice. Let's take a look at how this works, shall we? All right. We're going to get started on my computer. And the reason is, is because the Cube Money website is a fantastic place to see just how robust this tool is. And if you're thinking about using it for you, you and a partner, you and a family, and if you're also thinking that you're using this because you're not sure about your own budget, I didn't realize initially how robust this tool was, which is why we're going to start there. Then we'll go to the app. We'll put some money into the account. We'll open up a second card for my spouse, Cheryl, and uh, we'll see how this works. So let's get going over here, shall we? Cube Money is not the easiest name to remember. And if you watch this video and you still forget that it's Cube with a Q, well, don't worry because our search engine has you covered. Check this out. If you put in Cube Money, you'll notice that immediately Google asks you, do you mean cube money? And then there it is at the top. We are now headed to cube. I already explained this a little bit, but let's walk through this. You are going to be using a cash envelope system using an app. And just like stuffing these $100 bills into envelopes, you now are going to be stuffing your virtual money into cubes, which are just a different version of envelopes. So. When you go to the grocery store, when you go anywhere, you open up just that cube. You literally tap it before you go into the place or on your way there, or even while you're at home, that cube is now open. When you swipe your card, it will come out of that one place. It won't go from anywhere else. So your money for car maintenance will be still there. Your money for gasoline will still be there. If you overspend on groceries, well, frankly, you know what? It's impossible to overspend on groceries now using cube money. You just can't do it. The transaction will get denied and you'll have to go add more money to it. An important feature here too is that we're working on our behavior when it comes to our budget. And a big piece of your behavior is making sure that you have these little stop gaps and you're about to do something wrong. And what's cool is because you have to tap that app and you have to add money in if you don't have enough money into that cube from another cube, you've got this little shock absorber. You got this little break right between you and a bad decision that you're going to regret later. You'll see that during this time that I was talking, this helpful app comes up and this is going to continue to come up while we're here. And I like how helpful it is because when I was originally trying to put money into cube, I had a heck of a time doing it from the website. However, when I tried to do it through the app, it happened seamlessly. It was amazing uh, how easily it happened. Now, if you're somebody that's saving as a couple, you definitely want to explore Q, but you're going to use it in a little bit of a different way. And I'm going to show you how this works a little bit later as we sign Cheryl up for a card. What intrigues me about this system and something that could be incredibly helpful if you're working with a partner on your money, the ability for both of you to work together. I like the fact, as it says on the piece here, that you can make finances easy and purposeful. You know what I like even better? I like the fact that when Cheryl and I have our money discussion, we can also use that time to put money into these cube envelopes. I don't like the, the negativity here about fighting about money. Clearly, a lot of people fight about their money and this can help you stop. But even more than stopping the fights, it puts you on the same page and empowers you both 
to fill these cubes with money and then together have these great money discussions about what you value when it comes to your purchases. Again, not, not so much uh, excited about the no more secrets discussion. I agree that I don't like secrets, but I wanna come to this from a spot of power where we're really helping each other instead of avoiding the negativity. And uh, Cube will help you do both as, as you can see that is now that's not all that cube does let's move into the next spot here which is cube for your family it's so difficult to teach kids about money isn't it and today parents have a problem that frankly you and i probably didn't have when we were kids because even if you're handing kids money well heck i'm not even handing them one of these but if i'm handing kids money there's a disconnect between this money and the plastic that they're going to be expected to use 99.9 percent .9 of the time so even though studies show that for older people there's a disconnect between money and plastic for younger people that is how they're being brought up from the very beginning and you as a parent if you're going to teach your kids about money need to begin teaching them not about this but about this because this to your child is actually real money let me show you how cube does this instead of either you or you and a partner having a card now in your family everybody has a card and the card has special protections on it so every card stays at a default zero secure balance until you choose when and how to spend each dollar from your budget and you'll see that now the cards are neat made up for kids oh they even wiggle as i go across them how cool is that now though when you assign your budget now your children have money on their card you can watch them as they spend money you can make sure that you're trusting them with just enough money and not too much and you can now have fantastic budget discussions because they will also have their own cubes up to 10 family members can use it how do we use this best studies show that when you make a budget that a budget that works best is actually one where you trust your child with a little more money than maybe you should now hear me out don't want you to stop the video because of that point point. and i know that for a lot of parents they're like what why why does my kid need to have a lot of money well frankly they don't however if you don't let them mess up with a little more money than they should have today they are definitely going to mess up like I did and maybe you did when all of a sudden they're making thousand dollar decisions instead of ten dollar decisions trust your child with a little bit more money use a tool like cube then to monitor their spending and make sure you also use a calendar to circle back with them later after a bad decision to talk to them about that decision don't stop them from making a bad ten dollar decision circle back with them a week later and ask them how that actually worked out was it worth it did it actually make sense and you and your child can find out together making some bad ten dollar decisions much much better than waiting for the big money decisions cube can help you do that now that's not all that cube does there's even more and some of these features are so buried here that i did not find them until just lately and this for me can make all the difference because if you're somebody who struggles with money and struggles with budgeting and maybe you're looking at cube sure using cube and making your own cubes is great but how do you get the most out of this cube and the team at cube have a program called cube masters that can teach you how to do your budget and as you see as i'm scrolling through this you'll see that they have all kinds of different programs from a blog on one end to a complete course that can help teach you exactly how to work with your money and i'm going to scroll back up here to the top and i'm going to click on cube masters now what's neat is on cube masters you can start with 
the basic plan, which is $0. So for free, you can begin here. You get Cube Money, which is the free account. You also get financial coaching, uh, so you can become a power user, the webinar. Uh, edition of that. We'll get to what the premium allows for, which is going to be even more. You get lessons on how to use this correctly and how to set up a good account, and you get the financial calculator, which makes sense. Now, if you upgrade to the premium content, it's $99. And always when I'm spending money, I wanna make sure that it's worth it. A premium account gives you not only the same thing that the basic account gives you, but also one year access to the best of cube money, joint accounts, unlimited cubes, budget automation. Do you need all those things? Probably not, but it is the $100 value almost right there. But that's not really the part that I really like. I like this, the financial education piece, one year access to Cube Masters, a $297 value, and also their financial community so you can work with like-minded individuals who are also using Cube. Surrounding yourself with the right people is a huge part of winning and having those right people in your corner. It isn't about the tools that you use, it's about how you actually use that tool. The best tool is always gonna be the one that you actually use. And listen, if I can use Cube or any other tool, that's great, but if I can use Cube and use it well, that makes a ton of sense to me. So for some of us, if you're already ready to budget, using the free plan makes a bunch of sense. If you're not ready to budget, and the reason you're here at Cube, well then paying $100, $99 for the premium, also makes a ton of sense to me. You get what you pay for, and Cube is not only unapologetic about charging money for these premium features, for a lot of you, this can be the difference between a budget that doesn't work and a budget that does but there's even more. Let's go back and take a look. Cube also offers financial coaching. And when we click on financial coaching, you'll see that there is a 90 day money transformation and there's individual coaching sessions. You can dive into these later. I just wanna point out this, that not only this idea that started with just a simple bank card and a very easy to follow envelope budget has some depth I think that a lot of people didn't expect, me included. That's enough of the high level overview of Cube. Let's take a look at the app itself. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna download the app from the App Store or from Google Play. Once you get the app on your phone, that's when the magic starts. All right, so you will see that I am already in my Cube Money app. And you'll also see that uh, I have it all laid out here with exactly one cube, and that is for board games. You'll see also that I haven't put any money into my Cube Money account, but it's it's super easy to do. So you'll see spending. I have uh, my board game uh, thing, but of course I, d I don't want to deal with that. What I really want is to make sure that I have a grocery budget. And Ryan, the creator of Cube, mentioned to me that this is a great place to start with Cube. It's to start with your groceries and then let it expand. And so I can make the grocery cart anything I want, and I'm going to make it that uh, icon. I can change the color. The customization on here is fantastic. So I'm just going to make it a nice shade of green. And now I've got that. And of course, my monthly budget, let's say $150 a week. So we will go with $600. It will be a little more um, analytical than that. But the cool thing about Cube is that my budget is going to stem from my experience. So if $600 doesn't end up being enough, then of course I, I can work from there. So there we go. And now I need to add, add money uh, to that Cube to be able to, to spend money on it. You'll see that I have absolutely no money in this. And if I hit fund that Cube, you will see that, that right now, I have uh, $300 sitting in my cube account, so I can move from uh, that to that. Of course, I don't have $600 yet in here, so I'm just going to put uh, I'm just going to put 300 in. Well, actually, you know what? I'm going to put 200 in because I want to do something else with this. So here we go. And now, by the way. You can see repeat. I can have money automatically go from cube to cube on a repeating basis. So if I have a bill that comes up all the time and I want that cube to be 
uh, filled automatically, like a car payment, as an example, uh, I can have this repeat. And so I can change it daily, weekly, every two weeks, every four weeks, monthly. Uh, very robust there. I can also make notes to myself so I know exactly why I'm doing that. So $200 and I will submit that uh, change. And now I have just moved $200 into my grocery budget. And when I go back to my cubes, you will see I have $300 uh, and of that money, um, uh, $200 of it is in the cube. All right. I also can create uh, bill cubes. So I can choose a cube name like a bill and let's say it's my auto payment. And I can make this be my auto and I choose a color. And now I have that bill is going to be monthly and the due date is on the first of the month and the monthly monthly uh, uh, budget and bill amount, of course. Say it's $250, wouldn't that be nice? And my bill amount is $250. So notice that the budget amount for my car in total can be different than what the, the, the bill is. So if I want to pay more than the bill some months, if I need to move money to a different cube, again, the flexibility here to do even uh, uh, to do even more things, and now I can fund it now so it doesn't get declined. I will hit no for now, and have that have that come up. And look at I have a virtual account number uh, that I can pay the bill from. So what's neat is Cube can create these account numbers that are different for my different cubes that pay the car bill. And so I can make sure that my car gets paid directly from, from this cube. Amazing, all the different things they can do. You will see, by the way, that uh, I added money in July from my guaranteed bank account. Whenever I have new ones, I don't have any schedule right now. Again, I could show you that, but super easy uh, to, uh, to move money from one point to one place to another place. So right now I have a hundred dollars still sitting in the cloud, which means it isn't allocated to a cube. I got two hundred dollars that is allocated to my grocery budget, uh, zero dollars allocated, of course, to that to to that bill. I can I can make now that hundred dollars be cubeless if I want to, where I don't need to open up a cube to get to it. But before I do that, I want to make sure that I set up my board game account. So for board games. I've got a zero balance and I am going to uh, add money to this cube. So I'm going to, uh, whoops, I hit the wrong button. Of course, this is if I want to internally transfer money from one to another. And instead you see here, by the way, I can also make purchases. I can open up the cube to spend. I can view the card number. What I really want to do is gonna to be to add, uh, add money to this cube. And so I go here, I go into add money now, and I want that money to be from the cloud and I want it to be 25 bucks. So now I got 25 bucks coming from the cloud to board games. And now I will submit and I now have uh, $25 in my board game cube. So. I wanted to show you that just specifically because now I have money that I really need for my groceries and then I also have my fun account. And as you see, whether it's travel, golf, whatever you might do, uh, uh, hiking, um, whatever it might be, you have that. Of course, you have the more important things like utilities, the car payment, groceries, all, all those activities. Now, all that needs to happen is when I go to the store, I just do this. I will then be at my overview and I'm ready to spend some money. So I click on the grocery cube and then I open up the cube. And now my grocery cube has been open and I can make a, I can make a quick payment. 
Well, I hope that what you saw there is that with the help of little debit card and a powerful app for your phone, plus the addition of coaching, Cube Money is a robust budget that can make it easy for even the worst budgeters to budget and, dare I say, might actually make it even fun. Now, I'm gonna tell you some tips about making sure that this works right here to end our video today. But before I do that, if you wanna check it out, head to stackingbenjamins.com slash cube, which is spelled Q-U-B-E. And when you go there, that's an affiliate link because we like this product so much that we decided to partner with them. And if you'd like to say thank you for us making this video, walking you through it, stackingbenjamins.com slash cube is the way to get there. Now, a few other things. What takes a budget and takes it from good to great isn't just the fact that you have this card and this envelope system. It's also that you talk about your money. So make sure that you set aside about 20 minutes a week, make it really fun and really easy. In fact, in my book Stacked, I go over the fact that Cheryl and I have a 20 minute meeting every week, either over wine or pancakes, depending on what time it is. We keep it very, very brief. We just look at what we spent the week before, and then we open up our cubes for the following week. Super easy, super fun, super light. Now, you have to have some hard uh, money conversations. I find that when we have that weekly meeting, those conversations happen organically, which is a much better way than uh, you know people yelling at each other about their money. By the way, if you're single, still schedule this 20 minutes. We all get so busy having that meeting really helps. And that on top of the power of cube money can, uh, can make this all go really well. I'm Joe Saul Cihai. Please subscribe for more video walkthroughs. We have them all the time. We also have other live content. Of course, our podcast is simulcast here on YouTube every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And we will often have other headliners that we talk to, Q&A sessions here on the Stacking Benjamins YouTube channel. Hope you can join us again soon. Let's go get the budget in order, peeps. Keep stacking. Bye-bye.